Hello everyone. Today's session is about setting up Azure AD single sign-on on hosted center stack. We have a test tenant here, which is called Test Azure. So we go to the control panel and then go to the single sign-on and set it up like that. So for the parameters to enter, we need to go to the left-hand panel now. So we need to log in to Azure and then the parameters are right there. So you go to the app registration and then go to the endpoints. The endpoint, the first is the SAML P sign on endpoint, and then you will go uh, put it into the endpoint URL. And once you do that, the save, um, you know, floating button is going to show up and then we can save it after. So the next thing is we need to take the first parameter and then um, take the, the XML and then put it into the metadata. So this metadata information is coming from the Azure, uh, the first parameter, the metadata endpoint. And then if you open up the metadata, you can see the claim types offered. So you just take the name, claims name to the email parameter. So you kind of do a little bit of matching between the two and you would um, set up the, the given name the surname so it's all um, matched up so then on the hosted center stack side it's all ready uh, to go so this is 50 percent of it so now we need to so what we did was we read the Azure AD side of the metadata and then filled it in to the hosted center stack side. So now we need to take the center stack side of the parameter and then um, create a Azure side of the app. So we go to app registration and then it's a web app. So you can give it a name. Uh, typically I'll just use, you know, or uppercase, no space, no dash, no underscore. Um, and then making sure this is the most important step here, right here. So you need to make sure the entity ID is 100% copied and then paste into the sign on URL. So this step is very important. There's another place. So if you open up the app, go to properties and then go to the app ID URL. So that app ID needs to be uh, changed to match the entity ID from the center stack side. So basically as a re review, the sign on ID and sign on URL and the application ID needs to match. So we just pick a random logo. So then, um, we know which app is our own app. So now the app registration is done and we can save it away. So now let's go to the enterprise app application uh, entry and then let's find our app we still need to assign the app to users who needs to use the single sign-on app so this is on the microsoft azure side so you go to add users and then you go to pick your users and then the users showing up will be the users from your uh, company so we have a test organization here uh, you can just click the select from the bottom and then click assign from the bottom again. So now these users are assigned to the single sign-on app. So now the setup from both sides finished. So it's kind of A trust B and then B trust A. Um, so the setup includes, you know, kind of two sides of a coin. So now let's log into um, hosted center stack. So now on the right hand side in the Firefox browser, in the logging is logging to the traditional way, not using single sign on at all. So now let's go to the Microsoft side. There's a My Apps portal from Microsoft that can show all the applications that has been assigned to the user. So now let's go ahead and log in. And then we should be able to see our bear icon there, click through, and then there you go, you signed in, right? So remember on the right, on the left hand side, it's Microsoft uh, Edge browser, it logs in and it doesn't even prompt us for 
the center stack credential, but it's Microsoft credential and it comes in immediately. So as a quick review of what we've done, so we need to go at the, the single sign-on is a per tenant uh, concept. So you need to set it up on a per tenant basis. So on the Microsoft side, the SAMOP sign-on endpoint goes to the IDP endpoint URL. The Federation metadata documents, the whole document itself, I recommend to a view source and then paste the source in as text files into the metadata field and then take the claim name, given name, and surname to match up. So then the center stack side knowing you know, which field is, you know, who is who, kind of which parameter is, you know, which parameter, uh, which parameter on the Microsoft Azure AD side is the parameter on the center stack side. So you can match them up. And then after that, you just save it away. Um, if you don't see the floating save button, you can just flip one of the switch and then it will show up and then on the center stack side it's the same thing so this is the center stack side of the parameter the most important one is the entity id making sure when you create the app the sign on url is a hundred percent match that entity id and then later um, set the application id to that entity id as well and then assign the users to it so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple and it's different from the Azure AD integration, which requires a native app and that we will cover in a different session. Thank you very much.